With a fresh cup of coffee and her laptop ready to go, Sheena Chris sits down to engage in her daily social media routine. But she isn't online just to catch up with friends. Sheena coordinates a swap and shop page, and with over 6,600 members, the Nanaimo House and Home Group keeps her busy with admin and, of course, selling and buying. Well, Facebook is just a little more personal. I think everyone's getting to know everyone. We're all from Nanaimo, most of us. If you look in this living room, it's, um, I bought my couch that's there. I bought my table and chairs. I bought this light and the light you see over there. Buying and selling used goods on Facebook is a popular trend these days, and there are plenty of local groups out there to participate in, each with its own unique niche and market. Leela Parks, Amanda Chelmack, and Kendra Vanderzee are three local moms that have also embraced the Swap and Shop community. I can speak mainly on the Mom Swap and Shop because that's where my ties really are. Right. But there's, must, what is there, like 30 Nanaimo groups for other things as well? There's like the, the Mom Swap and Shop, House and Home, um, Nanaimo New and Used. There's wedding swaps for brides-to-be, shopping for all those little details. and There's you know. the Garden Swap and Shop, which is one yeah. of my favorite because we can get excellent plants. I also also, like the free, the, the free, free swap, swap and shop. The best score that I've ever found was a Little Tykes Playhouse for free. I just had to go and get it, and it retails at three ninety nine American only, yeah. plus all the accessories. And we love it, and we'll free pass it on when it's done. And and that's another great thing with, with the pass along. I just love how everyone, well, most people will just actually take something, use it for as long as they need it, and then give it to the next person. From free pass alongs to handcrafted goods to simply cycling out the clutter, local swap and shop groups can be a fast acting connection between buyers and sellers. A lot of people have cell phones and they're on it all the time, especially if they're looking for deals. So things sell really quick. There's um, savvy shoppers on there and they're just on it. So there's sometimes there'll be that really cool item and all of a sudden there's bam, there's a list of people and you'll yeah. see um, people saying next, next as they're next in line waiting. And But just got to be quick. <laughs> it's a glorified garage sale, 24 <laughs> hours a day, seven days a week. Yes. Um, you can sell your junk in the privacy of your own home to a certain extent without all the hard yeah. work of a garage right. sale or sitting out on a hot Saturday wasting your day. Or if you only have one or two items, then it's, why would you have a garage sale for one item? So the way you sell something is you take a photo of the item you want to sell, then you either post it to the wall if you're on a cell phone or if you have a, a PC, you can post it into pre-made albums that I have. Also having like um, a nice setting to do your photos in. Tidy home, items well cared for, it can kind of be a plus. Small details help, obviously what it is, um, maybe the condition that it's in. Price is also handy, having that um, posted for people to see how much you want for it. Um, also specifying whether it's pickup only or if you're willing to meet up or if you do a drop off. Um, some people are willing to do that if they're going back and forth throughout town. If it's a good price, I, I see items that go up there that will have up to 20, 25 people interested. It's gone out to the members in the group, and there's just um, 6,562 members. Um, so those who are signed up for notifications um, will get a little notice that, oh, Leela has a sewing machine for sale. And then I just wait and see if I get any bites on it. Well, as like a longtime seller, my favorite aspect is just, just that with the Facebook Swap and Shop, it is now so much faster to be able to list and sell an item and get a quick response as opposed to going through other online sites for selling used and new items and buy and sell. And here we go, we have somebody interested within <laughs> barely a minute of posting it. I've got um, someone that would like to see it. Most swap and shop pages have similar expectations for sellers. Post a photo, list a price, and sell with integrity. Although buyers and sellers should always be cautious, another reason that swap and shopping is working is that face element. Facebook, um, you have a face uh, to relate to so you feel a little safer as opposed to going to Kijiji or uh, Craigslist or some of those other sites where uh, you don't really know who you're dealing with. And then there's the connections in the groups that grow beyond buying and selling. Basically, the swap and shop is not just only for selling 
and buying, but it's there as a resource. That and it's fun. great for, for passing along like birthday party supplies. It's just great for so many things. And ideas for birthday parties. Like yeah. you think Pinterest is great, go on the mom's swap and shop. Yeah. <laughs> you can find and request to join many of these swap and shop groups by logging onto Facebook and typing your community name and swap into the search bar. And you can always post a question to your friends. It is, after all, a social network. In Nanaimo, I'm Derek Johnstone.